Hi, I'm Salman Nafis, and in this video, we're going to learn how to do multicam editing. If you've shot something on two cameras or three cameras at the same time, there's a very easy way in DaVinci Resolve to edit that. So whether it be a podcast video with two or three cameras, or it's a simple interview which is shot from different angles with different cameras, multicam edit is going to save you a lot of time. The footage that we're going to be using is from a podcast that I did recently. This is the camera A, and this is the camera B which records the other guest. And then we have another clean audio that was recorded on Zoom audio recorder. This method is also going to work if you're working with cameras that has the FAT32 limit on them, where the camera can only record up to four gigabytes of a footage. And after that, it puts in a cut, then you have to re-record it. So this is the same case that we're dealing with over here. We have two different cuts between the same take. So this is our camera B and this is our camera A. I'm just gonna drag both of them into the timeline and both of the microphones from both of these takes are basically mixed into this for the clean audio. So you also need to synchronize this one. So I'm just gonna drag this one also onto the timeline. And as you can see, this is one single recording, but we have cuts in between them in both of these angles. So I'm gonna start off by synchronizing all of these clips. Let's make some space and let's put our main audio around here. And now we want to bring in our first clip to synchronize. Let's put it up around here and let's select both of these clips, right click and select auto align clips. We want to make sure that it is selected synchronized using waveform and track number one is selected as this is where my main track is sitting. So I'm just going to hit sync. So it has done a pretty nice job in syncing the clips. Now I'm going to put in my second clip to synchronize it. Let's do the same. Select this one along with this clip, right click auto line clips based on waveform and synchronize. Now let's put in our camera A. Let's put that on top around here. Select that and along with that, select the audio, right click auto line clips, sync and do the same for the others. Now, once everything is synchronized, you can just play over it and you can see if the audio is matching with the video. Now I'm going to put them in order. So I'm just going to hold option and select all the video clips. Keep holding option and press the down arrow key and they're going to be in the first layer. Our video starts at around here. This was a recording that was done before the audio recording was started before. So I'm just going to cut it around here. Command B. Let's remove all of these things. And the audio recording actually continued after the podcast. So I don't need this part. So I'm just going to select that. Command B. And that's where it ends. Now, what you can also do is that you can just put up anything on the layer three and that can act as a third camera. If you have a screen recording that was going on at the same time and it had the audio, it would be perfectly synced on the top layer. Or even if you wanted to put in any graphic, you can just drag that in, you know, right there. And we'll just increase that in length. Now we're going to align all of these things and we're going to take them just to the start of the timeline, just where the timeline starts, exactly at that place. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to go here into the media pool and we're going to search for the timeline one. We're going to right click on it and we're going to convert the timeline to multicam clip. Once we do that, we have a multicam clip coming up right there. Now we just need to import that into the new timeline right here and we can see our multicam clip. Now to do the further edits, we're going to be doing that in this timeline. So if you want to bring up that multicam viewer, I'm just going to make this a little bigger. I'm just going to turn off the media pool. And if you're not able to see the second window right here, you can just turn off the inspector. You can just turn this thing on and off to have the second view on the left side. Now on the left side, I'm just going to come up over here and I'm going to select multicam so that I can view all of the angles at once. Now, if you come up over here and you just hold the audio, right click and you can switch the multicam angle of the audio. In our case, the audio was sitting in the audio one. So that's why we're going to be using the audio one. Otherwise, you can select the other audios as well. On the video, I want to start off with this video, which is the cam A. So I'm going to right click, switch multicam angle. I'm going to select video two. And now it's going to start off from this video. You can always switch between multicam angles by right clicking either on the video or the audio layer and it can bring up that specific video on the timeline. Now our video actually doesn't start here. This is all the talking before the video and our video starts around here 
and this is all of the empty area that I don't want to include. So I'm just going to press Command B and I'm going to delete this part. So our video starts from here. Now, if you come up over here, you will find these three options to do the cutting. This one is just to cut the video. This one in the middle is to cut the video and the audio. And this one on the right side is just to cut the audio. So in our case, we're just going to be cutting the video back and forth between different angles. So we can just go forward, let's say around here, we're going to cut into the video one. I'm just going to come up over here, click on that and the cut is automatically added. Now around here, I want to switch back to this video. I can just click on it and there's a cut. There's a very easy shortcut key that I can use also, which is one and two corresponding to the video angle. So if I play now and if I press one, it's going to put in the cut towards the first camera. Now two for the second camera and three for bringing up that graphic that we added. And then we can just switch back to one. So this is how you can just edit. You can just keep going and keep editing. Anything that you don't like, you can just remove the gaps from here. Command B, you know, you can just zoom in and, you know, physically remove that gap. Command B, delete. So actually when this video ends, I want to start off with the other angle. I'm going to right click, switch multicam angle to video two. And now I can keep going forward. One, two, three, one. So this way you can just complete your edit. The next part would be to color grade all of those clips and to go back to the main timeline that we were working on because it would be really difficult to color grade over here on a lot of different cuts. It would be better to put in the color grade on just two cuts that we have over there. So I'm just going to go to the media pool and as you can see our main timeline that we were working on has now been converted to a multicam clip. So that's why we need to go back to that timeline. So I'm going to right click on that multicam clip right click and select open in timeline. So it's going to open up that timeline for you. That was initially in which you synchronized all the clips. So now we can just come up over here, display stacked timelines, and we can switch between the source timeline and the edited timeline. In our case, the timeline name was just timeline one. That's why it's giving us the same name for this. Uh, you can actually give it a different name in the start and it, it's going to be much easier for you to work. So I'm going to come back to the source timeline around here and now I'm going to color grade these. For now, let's just disable this clip by pressing T on the keyboard and I'm going to head over to the color page to color grade it. And I've already made a grade over there. So I'm just going to apply that grade onto these clips. Let's go to this first clip. Apply grade. Go to this clip. Apply grade. Then we're going to go back to the edit. Simply enable this by pressing T and go back to your main timeline, keep editing the way you want to edit. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more useful videos like this. Drop me a comment down below and I will see you in the next video.